Oh my gosh. I just made a horrible mistake. I, we we were taken unawares in the early dawn. Rob Stark with Grey Wind. He snuck his way into our camp with 15,000 men. How did this happen? How could this have happened? The enemy is flanking me. You rallied some of your men to you. Protect the king. Protect your king. Protect the king! And excelled during the fighting. Look at this. Ro Joffrey is cutting men down left and right. One of the knights' presence offers to knight you on the spot. Joffrey... Who is this, Sir Eric? A Kingslander. I'm I'm in I'm in I'm insulted that I haven't been knighted, yes. Finally, some recognition of my abilities. I shall be a famous knight. In the middle of a crushing defeat. Damn. Using some vile sorcery, your brother fell on Joffrey with an army of wolves. Thousands of good men were butchered. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. Gendry the ball, let him rot. In the middle of a crushing defeat, there's light in the darkness. I've become a knight. The seven gods, the seven faces of God will look towards the north, will burn down their old their trees. These northerners, these savages. Damn. We're retreating with our tails between our legs, but we will return. They've beaten us back. The guards drag Gendry up from his cell and throw him at your feet. Sir Gendry the Bull, you want to fight? You've been in jail for I don't even know how long. Prisoners. You've been in prison for three years. There's no way, and I don't even think, we haven't been feeding you. I don't think anything. I'm surprised you're alive. Let's select someone to stand for the king. Come on. Loris Tyrell versus Gendry the Bull, who's been in prison shackled to the walls in the darkest dungeon in King's Landing for three years. If Gendry the Bull manages to win this, Loris Tyrell, it would be in it would be an insult to your entire family. You'll never be able to live this down if you survive. Loris Tyrell, don't fail me again. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? You watch in horror as Lord as Loris falls to the floor, Gendry's sword grievously wounding him and forcing him to yield. The prisoner takes his leave, walking out the doors with a smile on his face as the entire court looks on in disbelief. Loris, you're a failure. A grievous injury? I don't see any wounds. You're pathetic. You're never going to be fighting in a, another trial by combat again, as long as I have a say. Let's go deal with these uh, rebels down here. We're going to reinforce in uh, the Twins. If uh, Stevron Frey has anything to say about it, we'll crush him too. The northern half of my kingdom is in disarray. The Ironborn are raiding the north. I don't even know. Oh, look at this. There's so many men. How does Rob Stark have this many men? 50,000. Married to a Mormon, Lyanna Mormon, really. And he has a son, a troop. Oh no, it's the bastard. In Pentos, training troops. Daenerys, Daenerys is a warrior queen. She's pregnant. Damn. Oh Let no, whoever that oh, is. Oh, plot to kill. Yeah, we can. Let's see, Joffrey plot to kill her now too. Joffrey, he says he's a great warrior, but I mean, in his first major battle, he just lost, and I didn't even notice. Maybe he's a more of an underhanded king. He's more of a king who, once you bring his enemy to him in shackles, I'll just cut their heads off, okay? I'm not more, I can't really, I can't be bothered to put too much thought into these battle plans. Just amass the armies and just throw them at the enemies. Should work. Another revolt? 
Jeez Louise. 4,000 this time. Are you kidding? You're on Crozai with 2,500 men has just declared war on the Iron Islands. Now the Iron Islands are in a three-way war against the North, who are literally... There's like 20,000 Northmen on the Iron Islands. And now Euron, with his black magic, is going to come landing on his ship, the Silent, with his freaking uh, mute mute guys. Mary, as you please, I don't appreciate that you're a lore god, but I'm not going to be too worried about that for right now. A revolt against Dorne. I did not expect that. What is going on down here? Oh, Dorn is being slave raided. Around 18,000 slavers have landed in Dorn, and I'm not even paying attention. Pycelle's arrived in my court. Good for him. Damn, damn, damn. I feel the war slipping through my fingers. I don't know what's going on here. Come on, we're about to take Greywater Watch at least. There we go. First layer of Greywater Watch down. Joffrey's first successful siege. Now we're going to assault the walls. These swamplands. They're not they're not, they're not to my liking, but we'll burn the keeps, slaughter all these swamp folk and move on. Push them O'Kalen. Oh my god, Cal is King Salador San. You want your son, your 12 year old son, to marry my 39 year old mother? Nah. Nah, dude. I'm gonna say no to that. Pycelle, I don't know why you're not already my maester. I'm worried about where I'm going to find the Northmen again, but I can't be seen to be showing fear, so we're gonna have to push forward, drive forward into the north. You can beat us back as many times as you like, Rob Stark. But you'll never defeat us. Excellent. What's this? The High Septon has decided to join. Now it's a truly religious war. We'll slaughter those old gods. Show them how much they're worth. Are there are any men we can raise anywhere. Davos. We can raise a couple of Davos' men. The White Walkers just took the wall. Oh my gosh. The North is in utter chaos. May the gods protect us. The northern, the northern clansmen have been taken over by the Ironborn. The wall has just fallen to the no, to the White Walkers. Sixteen thousand White Walkers to sixteen thousand Whites in the White Walkers army. The Ironborn are being double teamed by Rob Stark and Euron Greyjoy, and I'm just struggling to march my way up through the neck, taking heavy casualties with a ten thousand King Rob himself. Is blocking my entrance to the north. We outnumber him. What looks like a 10,000 army, 11,000 army, 8,000 army. We outnumber him 3 to 1. We're just going to group up and moat Kaelin. Oh, God, we're taking heavy attrition, but... Just the sheer amount of men we have, we should be able to defeat Rob Stark here and now. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Why are there so many peasants revolting? Let's go deal with those. Here we go. The White Walkers have declared war on Rob Stark. Yep. Rob just lost 2,000 men, it looks like. I don't know where... Oh, Rob is no longer leading the army. He's in the Emerald Sea. What the hell are you doing? He's way down here now. He's in these boats. He's just teleporting all over the place. Alright, well, we're still gonna... Oh my gosh. We're still gonna fight this battle. Lord Peter smiles at you. My liege, I've noticed your mind seems to drift off whenever we discuss monetary issues. I believe that to make things interesting, one must be introduced to the subject where it is directly relevant to oneself. Perhaps you may like to join me tomorrow on a full day of work? I can become friends with Littlefinger? Sure. Uh, Lord Peter starts the day off collecting taxes. Some people uh, frown and complain when they are given away their earn when they are giving away their earnings. Lord Peter calmly explains why taxes are collecting are collected. 
and manages to appease the complainers. So Joffrey, King Joffrey, and Peter Littlefinger are going house to house in King's Landing, personally collecting the taxes. I don't think this is a good idea, but maybe we could squeeze a few more coppers out of them. What do you think there, Littlefinger? Just gained 20 gold. Today, Lord Peter brings you to the nearest construction site to evaluate progress. Lord Peter notices that the buildings are lagging behind the agreed schedule and proceeds to question them. The builders complain about the weather and want more pay to cover the delays. You want more pay for being late? You want more pay for failing to do your job is what you're saying? Lord Peter looks over your way, awaiting a response. We will hold our end of the deal when you hold yours. Oh my god, Peter, I didn't... Jeez Louise, I didn't realize this was going to be this much work. The three of you have a good time discussing your experiences over a fine evening meal. The visitor nods at you, saying how lucky you are, Peter, to have our liege that understands your work. This corporation should benefit the both of you. Mm, I hated it. We should just kill the peasants and take their money. I've gained the slothful trait. Oh well. What's this? I petition that he be removed from the command and I take his place. Felice Stokeworth, you want to lead the armies? You're insane. I would never let the weak hearts of women lead my army. But they have the soft hearts of women. Here we go. We're about to go battle the Northmen. What's this? Excellent. We've lost... Okay, when I thought we were outnumbered them 3 to 1. We're now down to 2 to 1. Uh, Lord Commander... Uh, the Lord Commander writes that the cold winds are rising. Yeah, the Lord Commander of what? You've lost the wall. You're pathetic. What the heck? The Lord Commander took over the central Frostfangs. That's actually pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. He lost the wall, but instead of retreating, he forged forward and stole the northern frost, the central Frostfangs from whoever was holding it before. He's... He joined Rob Stark in the war against the Ironborn? Really? So the apparently the, the Night's Watch is no longer, uh, I don't know, not taking sides? Who even survived in the Night's Watch? Is this all that's left? We have 15. 15 Night's Watch members. Even women? You let women under the Night's Watch now too? Silent sisters? But they have the soft hearts of women. What the heck? This is just a shadow of the Night's Watch, Watch's former glory. I'm not joining if the Night's Watch decides to take sides in the war. Look at this, and the... What's this? Yeah, excellent. Joffrey just shattered the Northmen. Excellent work, Joffrey. Let's push to Winterfell. Oh, boy. We may, we may even encounter the White Walkers ourselves, which would not be good. Push for John to Winterfell. Rob Stark has... 43,000 men. Lyanna, Queen Lyanna, I like that crown. She, she, that looks pretty cool. 7,000 men are outside the gates of King's Landing. We're beginning the siege. Excellent. Peasant revolt against Joffrey is over. These peasants, no, let them rot. They think they can go, go to war with me and then there's no repercussion. 10,000 men, come on. 93% against uh, Rob Stark. I don't know where we're getting to this much war score, but nice. Several vicious rumors have been circulating about me lately. I managed to trace them back to Lord Loghain of Hayford. I've been slandered by this... Oh, God. Um... You, th you dare slander the king? I'll have you imprisoned. You ran. He's now raised his flags in rebellion. Oh, that was the worst mistake of your life. Around 1,600 men. I'll send 4,000 men bearing down on your castle. Is this two people eloped? The slint. What? Are you kidding me, Tommen? Tommen, you cannot. You cannot be serious right now. You cannot marry a slint. A lion does not marry the servant, okay? Order them seized. And we're gonna... Ho, ho, ho. Tommen, you're gonna learn 
yeah, Tom and... You can be under house arrest. Your wife, on the other hand, your quote-unquote wife... Tyranny, goddammit. She can be, uh... She'll be tortured by me, personally. Okay? You obviously put a spell on my little brother, okay? We can't allow that. They made your prisoner know what true pain is. Excellent. She's now wounded and stressed. Ho oh. ho. If only that was the end of it for you, but unfortunately it's not going to be. We're gonna mutilate you. You order the jailers to drag Lylos from her cell while you methodically prepare, prepare your tools. No one crosses you unscathed. And Lylos will become a prime example of this. A living, living example of this. I don't know how long she's going to be living. At least that's the plan, but who knows? You could slip. I've not come through your head. Your eye will do just fine. I just, I gouge your eyeball out. I gave her a nice eye patch, though. Now... Tyranny. I really don't like that tyranny. So we're just going to mutilate you one more time. You order the jailers to drag Lylos from her cell while you methodically prepare your tools. Okay, I already read that. I've now come to your head. Your leg will do just fine. I've now chopped her leg off. Eyeless. Well, one eye. One leg. Wounded and stressed. And now just to top it all off, we're going to throw you in the obelette. And I'd love to see how long you last in there. Now, Tommen, no more disobeying me, okay? We're gonna... We've been through this before, okay, buddy? So we're gonna... We're gonna release you, buddy, okay? I've... We're fine here. You don't like me because I mutilated close kin. Close kin? That was a marriage of passion, don't even give me that. How old are you, to be honest, Tommen? I didn't even realize you were old enough to get married. You're 14! What are you doing, man? What's this? Oh, God. I'm not calling in Tywin to deal with a peasant revolt. Let's finish this war in the north. Dangerous factions. Marcella for the Iron Throne. Princess Daenerys is at 91. What is this? Who is this? Oh no, Daenerys' daughter. Damn, it's her spinning image. This one-year-old baby, though, is pretty attractive. I must say so myself. So, we need... Oh, my God, 135.7%. No one wants to... No one feels like murdering Daenerys. Iroh, you feel like murdering her, don't you? I'll, uh... 248 gold? Are you kidding me? How about I give you a... A... Oh, God. Okay, I'm not giving up that much gold just to murder Daenerys, no matter how much I may need it. We're going to finish this war in the north, and then we're going to have to prepare for the war against Daenerys. 100%. Oh, excellent. Lilo Slint died in the dungeons, and I didn't murder her. So I'm not, you know, I'm not a murderer. She just... I don't even know why she died. I was treating her really well. And Robb Stark is now... The war is over. I don't know... Don't know why it ended like that. I wanted to, you know, take over Winterfell, but it looks like I don't need to. Excellent. Uh, let's offer peace. Enforce demands. King Joffrey of the Iron Throne has won. And just like that, the North and the Trident are now under my control. Just like it should be. We have the White Walkers to deal with. We have Daenerys on our shores with dragons. And the support of Pentos. And I don't even know how many men. 132%. 14,000 men apparently are willing to support Daenerys. Okay. The Tullys. You're a lunatic. Um. The Tullys will forfeit the Trident. And the Starks surrender all lands and titles to the crown and be executed, as well as a hostage shall be taken from House Stark. I like that. So, King Joffrey the Mutilator has usurped title, lordship of Sea Dragon Point from Rob Stark. Excellent, 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 
excellent excellence. We'll have Rob Stark beheaded, just like we had his father beheaded. On the steps of Baylor, there we go. After seizing the Kingdom of the North, you have also captured the treasury of the deposed Lord Rob Stark. Excellent. My prisoner, Edmure Tully, is complaining about the dark cells. Tully can stay where you are. Excellent. Now. Who should I give the North to? The White Walkers are here, so I don't even know how long the North is going to survive. But... We need to give the North... To someone strong, a strong man who can hold it through some rough times. Oh, Sansa has long claw. We're gonna we're going to uh, take that. We can't. Oh, damn. All right. All right. The wars are over. I now hold the North, the Stormlands. And there's peace and prosperity through all of Westeros, except for the Iron Islands, and except for the Wall and North. But besides that, everything's doing great. Craster's Keep has actually survived. 47 men. Oh, it's Craster's wife? Sister wife. And just as a quick, uh, quick thing right before we end it. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave the north open for right now, and the Stormlands are open for right now. I'll decide next time we play. Just one more thing before we end this. I'm just gonna visit Sansa's chamber real quick. I gave her a good tumble. I'm king. I lay with her. She really does not like me, but you know what? There's no one to save her anymore, and I mean, I don't really care what she thinks. So yeah, with that, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully, this, I don't know. Hopefully, you like it. I don't know. Bye.